Tonight, we have a WCCO special report on a price many of our teachers pay. In a new exclusive WCCO Education Minnesota survey, we learned some educators shell out $1,000 of their own money on school supplies every year. WCCO's Christian Cordero has a perspective of 1,100 teachers statewide. For years, I would hide my receipts from my husband just so I could stay married. <laughs> and then there was the realization that I was spending more money on my students than my own two children. Mary Jo Wareham says she has no choice but to shop in secret. And she's not alone. According to the 1,153 educators who responded to our WCCO Education Minnesota survey, from Minneapolis to Red Wing to Bloomington to Bemidji, 41% said they spend between $251 and $500 a year, 33% paid more than $500, 9% more than 1000 We asked four of the teachers who participated in our survey to join us at the Wentworth Library in West St. Paul to discuss the state of supplies. Sarah Woolsey teaches sixth grade in Coon Rapids. The first day of school, I just walk into my classroom and I say, these are the things that you need. This year, Maybe 75% had everything they needed. And that's good. That's good. That's really good. She estimates she has spent between $251 and $500 on school supplies so far this year. The majority of the educators in our survey said the same. And most of their expenses, they say, go towards enhancing their classroom. So I go to Michael's and they know me by name. It's kind of, and I'm like, hey, you know, I'm back. You know? So I just load up and they think I'm like an art teacher or something, but I'm actually teaching history. Yeah. Twenty-five percent of the educators said they get a stipend from their district. We can turn in receipts up to fifty dollars for the entire school year. Wareham's principal at Skyview Elementary told us the school also has help from the parent-teacher organization. One hundred to two hundred dollars per teacher we turn in our receipts. And some ask their students families to chip in for the big ticket items like learning software. I believe we were asking ten dollars per family you'll get it from maybe 50, 60 percent of them. A lot of the times it's easier to just put 40 bucks or 50 bucks to cover the five that couldn't pay for it or <laughs> space. Or it Listening be. alongside me was Education Minnesota President Denise Specht. She too spent most of her career in the classroom, helping her students find their way. But on this day, among peers, she had more questions than answers. What other profession has to do this? I mean, somebody today mentioned Having to write a grant for the basics, having to write a grant for books. I don't know if I've met one physician that's had to write a grant for tongue depressors. And it's not just school supplies. Our survey showed 82% of teachers who spend money out of pocket are buying things you might not associate with the classroom at all. Jackets, hats, even food. Wake up with us tomorrow morning and we'll show you that side of the story, Amelia right here at 5 to 7 a.m. Yeah, well, we look forward to that. Mm -hmm. um, I know that you talked with teachers. What is the Department of Education saying? So they didn't want to comment uh, on the record necessarily, but they did say that they trust the teachers specifically with this data, that they are the best sources of information when it comes to how much money they're spending out of pocket. And you can see it based on our story uh, exactly what those numbers yeah, are. Definitely. All right, well, we look forward to your report tomorrow morning. Thank get, you. Get some rest there, <laughs> Christiane. Thank you.